Good morning. Today we're going to start She Persisted, 13 American Women Who Changed the World, written by Chelsea Clinton, illustrated by Alexandra Boyger. I'm going to read half of this today and we'll finish up tomorrow, so this will be a two-part reading. Sometimes being a girl isn't easy. At some point, someone will probably tell you no will tell you to be quiet and may even tell you your dreams are impossible. Don't listen to them. These 13 American women certainly did not take no for an answer. They persisted. <clears throat> Harriet Tubman was born a slave and her story could have ended there. Instead, she persisted, escaping from slavery and becoming the most famous conductor on the Underground Railroad. She risked her life many times to lead countless slaves to freedom, including her family, friends, and strangers. Every person she led to freedom arrived safely. And here's a quote from her. I should fight for my liberty as long as my strength lasted. Once Helen Keller became blind and deaf as a toddler, few people thought she'd be able to learn to read, write, or speak, but she persisted. Helen learned how to do all three and not only became the first person with deaf blindness to graduate from college, but she used her story to help fight for more opportunities for people with disabilities in the United States and all around the world. So here's a quote. One can never consent to creep when one feels an impulse to soar. <clears throat> After her family fled poverty and the threat of violence in Ukraine for a new home in New York City, Clara Lemlich got a job working on a garment factory. She, she wrote that the factory's conditions made women into machines, and so she persisted organizing picket lines and strikes that ultimately helped win better pay, shorter hours, and safer working conditions for thousands of workers, both women and men. And here's her quote. I am one of those who suffers from the abuses described here, and I move that we go on a general strike. <clears throat> Nellie Bly became a reporter in part because a male writer had said that working women are a monstrosity and she wanted to prove that women could do anything. At times, putting her safety at risk, she persisted throughout her career in exposing real monstrosities, pretending to be a sweatshop worker and a patient in a mental hospital to show how badly people were being treated. Here's her quote. I have never written a word that did not come from my heart. I never shall. Inspired from an early age by her brother's childhood illnesses, Virginia Apgar was determined to be a doctor long before many girls had such dreams. Even though she qualified to be a surgeon, the male head surgeon at her hospital discouraged her because she was a woman. Nevertheless, she persisted, becoming an anesthesiologist and creating the APGAR score to test a newborn baby's health, which hospitals all over the world still use today. And here's the quote, nobody but nobody is going to stop breathing on me. After Maria Tall Chief's family moved to California, Partly to support Maria's dreams of becoming a dancer, she was teased by students in school for her Native American heritage and later was encouraged to change her last name to something that sounded Russian, since many professional dancers at the time were from Russia. She persisted, ignoring all the taunting and poor advice to become the first great American prima ballerina. Here's her quote. It never occurred to me to say it hurts to do that. So we're going to stop there for today and we will read the rest tomorrow.